What is up, beautiful people? <laughs> people always stop me in the street and they say to me, hey, aren't you? And I say, yes, it's me, Tools. Thank you so much for tuning in to YouTube, to Twitter, to uh, Instagram, I believe. If you are on any of the platforms, make sure you mark the register like uh, Unstaz has done in the comment section. Welcome to a Chit Chat. We're going to talk about relationships. We're going to talk about all things fun. Yes, I know I'm late. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I apologize for being late, but I'm here with a drink. I hope you have one too. We are going to... Hi, everybody. Okay, you see, this is what I love. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this uh, live. <laughs> I hope you guys can see this. Um, I'm just adjusting it ever so slightly on here so that you guys can see it properly on Instagram. Let me just, I just need to check that it's looking good on Instagram. Just bear with me for a second. For a hot second. Please. Okay. I can see it's looking good on the Instagram. Hold on. Let me just do this. Uh, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Yeah. So wherever you are watching this live stream from, please make sure you hit the hearts button, the like button, or Twitter. I think you can. Yes, I see some Twitter comments coming in already. So yes, welcome to this live stream. Um, I hope it's fun and it's great and that you can watch it wherever you are watching from. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, would love it if you are watching on YouTube uh, because that's where your boy gets paid. <laughs> but Wherever you're watching it from, it makes me happy. I, I'm just happy that you're here. We're going to talk about our weekends. My weekend was very, very chilled um, on Friday night. See, I also love that my community is greeting each other. Like, I, I bring people together, you know. It makes me very, very, very happy. So, um, yes, thank you so much for tuning into this live stream. I really appreciate that you guys are here. Um, I had a great weekend. I'm very, very chilled. I'm late because I was with um, Papa Tools for uh, late lunch, which was absolutely, absolutely fantastic. We went to Fishmonger in Elova, which was great. And my dad is doing well. We had a great conversation Um and that was lovely. On Friday, I went to go see the film Mother's Instinct. You guys, I need you to go see this film because Mother's Instinct is fantastic. If you have not seen it, make sure you mark it on your to-do list because it stars Anne Hathaway and Jessica Chastain. And they are mothers that live next door to each other and a terrible accident occurs and then it's a drama the whole way through. I thank God I was in the movie theater alone because like there was moments where I was like screaming out loud. It was incredible. It was <laughs> wild. But um, yeah, I really had a great time. Make sure you go watch. I think I'm going to do a review on my Tools React channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed to that channel, I will link it down below. If you're watching this on the replay, welcome to this live stream later. And yeah, so make sure you go watch Mother's Instinct because it is a really great film. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Jessica Chastain is a phenomenal actress. I think it was the first film that I've seen her act in. I mean, I've met her before. Yes, yes, I have met Jessica Chastain. I met her in the south of France at the Cannes Film Festival. Yes, I know. I can't believe that is even a sentence that is coming out of my mouth. And she she was lovely. 
and she was still starting out. It was in 2011 where I met uh, Jessica at a Calvin Klein party. And she, she was lovely. She was absolutely um, the star of the show. And yeah, here, thanks to the flu, got my Corenza uh, Lexagon cocktail. Let's go. I hope you feel better, Eloise. I'm so sorry that you're sick. Yeah, it's change of season. Yeah, I hope you get better soon, as Nono is saying. Guys, how's your weekend been? Tell me everything. What's been happening with you guys? Um, it's great to have you here. Uh, we're going to chat also about relationships in a bit. But I want you guys to get your questions ready. For those of you who are in relationships, I want you to give advice to those that are not and those that are not in relationships, I want to hear why you're not in a relationship, why you're single, and are you enjoying it, etc. So we're going to have that uh, conversation in a bit. Um, but I just want to say welcome to everybody that's here, um, and thank you so much for making the time to spend it with me. I do have a vlog coming out at 5 p.m., so make sure you stick around until then. It's going to be fun. It's uh, pack with me, get ready with me for London. Um, yes. And I must also say that I've started, like, I had to compile all the London footage. And you'll be happy to know that I am going to be doing a video for London. Yes. Where's the applause button? <laughs> uh, Yes, out on the streets, Miss Ntosh. I love that. That makes me very, very happy. Um, I love that you're out on the streets. So, yeah, if I have compiled the London footage, it is close to three hours of footage. But I also, I need to separate it because I need to do a sit-down talk with you as I explain the London footage and vlog. So it's going to be, it's, there's a little bit of vlog style in the content, but there's also going to be me sit down talking to you um, and giving you the full breakdown of my thoughts on London. Good, bad, ugly, great, beautiful, life-changing. Uh, there is just, there's a lot to get through. Um, I just hope I don't talk for hours that... <laughs> <laughs> that the content, you know, but I, I feel like I want you to be fully immersed in the story time and enjoy it. So look out for that. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you are, you get notified when I upload that video. I hope you have a drink. We're going to be, I'm drinking Coca-Cola at the moment. I'm getting used to just having non-alcoholic drinks, but it is a Sunday. Yes, I know. I was trying to get rosé before, but that didn't happen. Um, yeah. Is there anybody here from Instagram? I want to know if the Instagram is working. Um, please, guys. If you are here from Instagram, make sure you... Oh, so I can see that the comments are coming. So if you're on Instagram watching this, please make sure you... Give me a little bit of a like or a comment or something, and then we can, so that I know that I've got, I'm doing my job correctly. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. I do see comments coming up from Insta here on my phone, but they're not. I love you too. Okay. Guys, I see your Instagram comments, but they're not coming up on my system here which sucks. This is annoying. This is beyond annoying. Ugh. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, now, lady, thank you so much for tuning in. You were a firecracker last week. Thank you so much for tuning in this week again to this live. I'm glad you decided to upload the vlogs. Yes, I am in the process of editing. And yeah, let's hope that they are... They live up to this hype. Um, yes. Sure, it's been a busy sure, it's been a, a busy weekend for me at work. Retail horror. Oh, yeah, I know those retail hours. Yes, yes to London vlogs. Okay, yeah. So it's gonna be amazing. No, no, 
I hope that it lives up to its standard. Um, I'm going to read out the Instagram comments when I see them here. Unfortunately, I can't bring them up onto screen. I'm sorry. I don't know why this is not bringing up the Instagram comments, but such as life, I will read them out as I see them here. Yvonne is saying, Yvonne Walsh is saying, Beverly Hills, we need a recap. Okay, I'll get into that in a second. Guys, also, Melanie, Tammy Taylor, what a mess. Um, Ndumi, thank you so much for tuning in. More The Explorer on IG, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Moy Gray, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to this live. Uh, yes, and I am glad that you guys are here. Uh, I believe in co uh, Coca-Cola more than I believe in myself. I love that. Cheers to that. Um, yeah, so that is one thing. Um, yeah, so M Mother's Instinct, make sure you go check it out. It is a great film. It is in theaters at the moment. Um, yeah, it's starring Anne Hathaway and Jessica Chastain. It is definitely a must-watch. I also went to a, rest a new spot in Johannesburg, a restaurant called Obscuria. Uh, it's more a, it, they say it's a cocktail bar and eatery, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a restaurant. And make sure you follow at Tools Tastes uh, on every single platform because I went to go taste the cocktails and the food and I, whatever. It's okay. You here. I appreciate that you here on the live. So I'm going to give you my honest opinion right here. I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. If you uh, want a nice first dates space, make sure you go to Obscuria because it is a really fantastic spot, new spot in Rosebank. It is if you see it's in between ethos and short market club so if you know the space in oxford parks um it is a great space make sure you go check it out i had a dirty martini i mean you'll see this all in the breakdown in my vlog uh the review the restaurant review and i really had a great time it was fantastic so make sure you go check it out it is a great spot Okay, uh, Naledi, <laughs> wait, Tools, let's chat. Mr. Lueve, where did we end up? Okay, we're getting straight <laughs> into this. Okay, I'm going to pause that in a second. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Jessica who, Moy Gray? Hold on, I don't, I don't know who you're talking about. Sorry. Um, this is an Instagram comment, sorry. Uh, okay, le let's just talk about this, uh, Mr. Lueve. I was whipped hair. Huh? You could even see in my Instagram how whipped I was. But... I never followed up. There were opportunities where he could have made a move. And I was like, mm, no, 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 no. Because I did set it up very well for it to be more. But he's also a child. So, which I realized after a while. And I was like, no. Nah. No, 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 this is not for Mina, and that's fine. Um, he is hot. I mean, I would tell you who he, who it is, but I just, I, I just, want, I do want to keep it some anonymity. Um, sorry, I'm as I, if I'm looking down, I'm looking at the Instagram comments because I can't see them on my system, on my um, live system. Do we need music? We need music. Hold on. Please hold uh, to set the mood. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, you 
yeah, I would have wanted more with Mr. Lueve, but uh, I don't think it was a match. He did have an event recently, uh, and I wasn't invited, but we also not that close. Um, and I think it was like a, a work thing and to keep it separate. So w when I know, when I saw that I didn't get an invite to that, I was like, okay, I know where I stand and that's okay. And that's fine. I'm like, all good. Um, yeah. The, the funny thing about the whole situation is that when we met, he knew like so much about me and I was meeting him for the first time in my life, which was bizarre to me. And it, it, while it's not bizarre, I, I just found it like, okay, you are keen and you're interested. I mean, for you to know so much about me means that there is some interest, you know what I mean? So I was like, okay. Um, but then dololo, nothing, you know? Anyways. So, such is life. Um, and also, why... I asked the question, why you guys are single? Why, why is my... Um, <laughs> why is my life being brought into, into this? Why am I in it? Why am I in it? Okay, let's get some music going. In the background... set the mood um if you are joining this live on any of the platforms twitter youtube or instagram make sure you hit the hearts button the thumbs up button or the like button i would appreciate it so much if you would do that so thank you so much for tuning in um we're just talking all things happening in your week it's a catch-up i want to keep on doing these lives every sunday i think it's a nice little bit of a catch-up before the vlog drops uh, my newest vlog drops after 5 p.m so um it's a, like a little bit of a catch-up that we we do before the vlog um drops okay mel and tammy taylor what happened so confused okay i will get into that um yeah, I think, yeah, let, we'll talk about that in a second. Let me bring up the other comments. Yeah, Yes, my lady, straight into it. <laughs> um, SA Unlocked, thank you so much for tuning in. You're not late at all. I love that you're here. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, okay, okay, tools, go on, go on. Now, why am I in it? Exactly, now why am I in it? Now, why am I in it? Right, let me see your Instagram comments. Um Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, if you have Instagram comments, I'm I'm looking at them. I can see them. But unfortunately, I won't bring them up onto screen, but I can see them, and I'll respond to your Instagram comments there. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, we're deflecting, obviously. <laughs> you are my people. Naledi, you are my people. I love that. Uh, Mel Fulyun... And Pete Fulyun. Listen. <laughs> After watching Titbits and seeing the tea with Tammy Taylor Nails, this is my conclusion and my understanding. If I'm wrong, then tell me I'm wrong. All right. Tammy, uh, Mel Fulyun and Pete, they wanted to do their nails here in South Africa, they wanted to do nails. She says she was all about the education ar around nails. I don't be, I don't believe that. Hey, Musa, um, and I, I don't buy it. To be honest with you, I don't buy that she was about education when it came to nails. But anyways, that's her story, and she's going to stick to it, and I'm fine with that. However, she went to America and she saw this brand, Tammy Taylor. They went into agreement, and I think the agreement was just a distribution agreement, is to sell product in South Africa. And this is where I could be wrong. Is to just sell product in South Africa, and that would be it. But 
Mel and Pete went, took that name and they remixed it and they made it their own. And they built stores and had franchisees. I'm not talking about the franchisees topic because now that is a whole nother topic. So I think there are no Tammy Taylor stores in America. The only Tammy Taylor stores that exist are in South Africa. Well, quote me if I'm wrong. Those are the only Tammy Taylor stores that exist. So, which is interesting because (laughs) Tammy Taylor International, the USA, could have been like, oh, this is amazing. They had the resources to build these. Excuse me. Hold on. This is too loud. Uh, They had the resources to build these stores and then it builds your brand to be honest so i think and now she tammy taylor is suing mel and pete for a hundred million dollars that is a billion rand girl please please that is that that is dumb i mean we all know wendy says sue high so that you get 10 percent of what you're suing for but I mean, these stunnies going at each other on social media is hilarious, if, if you ask me. I think it is very, very, very funny. Anyway, so that is my understanding of the situation. What should happen? I think it's fine. Like, like I think Tammy Taylor USA should really get together with... Mel and Pete, and let them run with, run with it because obviously they have the resources uh, to build stores in this country. So let them do it with your name, but also get like royalties or, or something. Like she needs to also fix up her contracts if the contra- contract was just uh, distribution. But I think what also happened is that Mel and Pete remixed the logo and the trademark so that it ends up being like a different Tammy Taylor, similar to what Polo has done in this country. It's not, Polo in this country is not affiliated with Ralph Lauren, but it looks like it is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you you guys, hit the hearts button and the thumbs up button if you know what I'm saying. All right. Um, Anyways. Okay. So moving on. Okay. Um, Wow, so he did a background check. Okay, Mr. Lueva, your life is juicy and you're you're a great storyteller. <laughs> you know what? I actually I I believe that I am a great storyteller. You know, um, <laughs> I was telling friends of mine about my London trip, and I could just see their faces at every beat that I would do because I set set the story set up like a situation. And then I drop the cliffhanger and it's like, what? Oh my God. So yeah, I'm excited to shoot my um, sit down and tell you guys about London because it's going to be great. I think it's going to be amazing. I think you guys are going to love it. So yes, let me see any Instagram comments. Um, Yes. Welcome. If you are tuning in on YouTube or on Twitter, on Instagram, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I don't see any hearts coming up from... Oh, yes, I see the hearts coming up on Instagram now. Yes, thank you. I love you, too. Thank you so much. Um, okay, Tammy Taylor. Oh, please, that, that storyline, Shem. Exactly. No, no, I completely agree with you. Girl, bye. I think Naledi is referring to Mr. Lueve, so... Ah, it's okay. Um... Tammy Taylor has always been a bit sus, though. I mean, listen, I'm not the target market, so I don't actually know. Well, I mean, I don't get my nails done there. But um, I've, I have also don't know any of my friends that used to get their nails done at Tammy Taylor. I mean, I know that there are some real housewives that have their franchise businesses with Tammy Taylor. What did I used to call that one from Mommy Club? Miss Vomit or something. Like the one that vomited on... Yeah. Anyways. Another story for another day. Um, But yeah. 
Um, yes, no lady gets me exactly. Um, do, uh, do not get me started with Polo Shem. Yeah, I, listen, Polo did the exact same thing that what is happening with Tammy Taylor. In actual fact, to put it in layman's terms, what Tammy Taylor did was they took the name and they did a little, little bit of a remix, but you think that it's Tammy Taylor USA. Meanwhile, it is, in the eyes of the law, it's actually a new brand. So, yeah. But this is, I'm. it's all hearsay. Don't quote me. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, I, I know that we're not in America and I can't be covered by allegedly, but this is what I am thinking is the situation um any update on the podcast yes so at the moment i am filming and recording a couple of episodes i have a lot of topics that i am getting into um and then yeah we are looking at launching the podcast q4 uh yeah so it's going to, I'm excited for it. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the process of g getting it done. And a, a big hindrance for me was just, I wanted it to look perfect. I wanted it to be great and amazing. But in actual fact, I don't need to. You don't need to uh, make the podcast perfect from the get go. It is, it's fine, even if it's, it, it's a mic and a video camera, or even just a mic. So, yeah, it's a perfectionist in me, the Virgo in me, that is a problem when, when this happens. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, it's coming. Yes, and thank you so much for asking. I really appreciate it. I mean, you know, but S Sylvia, you are the bomb, bomb diggity. Thank you. I love you. Um, all right. Tammy Taylor is sus in terms of business operations. I've never been to their stores, though. Haven't they always been in the news or doing something sus? Correct. That is also the other the, the thing that we cannot neglect or not forget because they are always they're in the news not for doing great business. They're in the news for how they are screwing their franchisees. So, yeah, I, I I don't know. Like, girl, yeah. And they're not in the news for doing great nails. I, I'm yet to see anybody that does nails <laughs> from Tammy Taylor that are amazing, you know? And I follow all the girlies, and I haven't seen any of them go to Tammy Taylor and post new nails, you know? Anyways, so, yeah. If you have been to Tammy, uh, Tammy Taylor to get your nails did, do comment in the comment section below. Um, I'd love to see it, it, what your thoughts are. Um, guys, okay. I'm just seeing you guys are not talking on Instagram, so unless you're there, if you want to chime in on Instagram, I'm looking at the Instagram to see if there's any Instagram comments. I, I don't see any, but... I see lots coming from the YouTube. Allegedly, please. She sold it to Billie Eilish. The, the mess. Uh, I mean... <sighs> Billie Eilish is probably like, who on earth is Tammy Taylor and Mel Yoon? And <laughs> Pete Fulyun. Like, what the hell? Like, why is her name being brought into this? Which is wild. I mean, yeah. So, which is crazy to me. I'm I'm sorry, but Udrek doesn't know the real deal at Polo. He tried to ex hey, I tried to explain to them. Um, yeah, yeah, which is crazy to me. Yeah, so yeah, Polo here, yeah, the Polo that's in some stores is not the Polo that you know to be Ralph Lauren. I'm j just saying. Just saying and keeping your ass in check. Um, all right. So, guys, I want to hear from you. If you're single, 
Why are you single? Is it by choice? Are you single because the... What's, what, is, what is a single life like with the heteros? That's the one question I have. Because I know what it's like with the gays. The, a mess. Let me tell you, it's a mess. Uh, so, but are, are, are the gays just struggling or are you guys struggling as well? Do you have a man? And if you have a man, what is it? What would you, what is this? What is a advice that you give to those that are single? Um, you know, wh what advice would you give? I, yeah. So let's, I, I want to hear from you guys, uh, your, your thoughts and, um, yeah. Now lady is saying that she is single by choice, please. Yeah. Um, but do you, are you dating? Do you want to date? Yeah. Tell me, um, let's, let's have a conversation. I want to hear from you guys because, I have deleted all my profiles on all the dating apps by choice, like Naledi. <laughs> Not the heteros child. Yes, guys, I want to hear. I want to hear from every single demographic because I can't, I, it can't be just the, the gays that oh, we are struggling here. Um, Maud said, single by choice, but I'm changing my mind again now. So I'm back on the stock market. We love that. And I'm sure those stocks are high. Um, it's, it's, yeah. So guys, I don't, I really want to know, is it a, is it a mess? It, is it a mess for you guys as well? Because, yo, kuningi, <laughs> kuningi with with the gays. Um, yeah, and w w I know that the apps are kind of problematic. I mean, we have Grinder, and it, it has its own set of problems, which is just a mess. But, um. I know that you guys have Hinge, you guys have Bumble, right? Are there any others? But and then there's obviously Tinder, uh, which I've been on. So yeah, I'm I'm in, in, in interested to hear your stories. Let me uh, let me know. Um, I really don't want advice, but they can go. <laughs> No, lady, I love that. I mean, that is truly single by choice. That means that you are truly single by choice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Tender care, like, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I can't. Uh, yeah. It is. Okay. Child, the dating pool is full of pee on the hetero side. What a mess. Guys, why is everyone messy like this? I love it. Um, the dating pool is a disaster. So you guys are also going through it. Uh, yeah. So, but what is, uh, I, I can tell you this, is that with the gays, there is very much a lot of hookup culture. And that's fine. Like, uh, and uh, more power to you if you want to hook up and have fun. Uh, and that's great. And you don't want a relationship to tie down. I do think, you know, for someone that wants to get into a relationship, it's more challenging if that's what you want in the scene, especially on the apps. Um, and, but also when you are meeting people on some of the apps, yeah, that's what they, you know, they don't want anything to be committed to, you know? And I do feel like that we live in a world where, we have so many options and we have so many choices at the end of the day and people don't want to commit and, you know, have like one thing that they, uh, that they hold on to and own and well, not own, but you know, the fact that we have so many options that, and that you can change and chop and whatever you want to do um, makes it a challenge for people that want to, be in a committed relationship. Um, that's why it is important, you know, at the end of the day, whoever you choose or whoever you want to be with, 
they must choose you. Um, th that's what I've learned from past relationships. The only channel that matters. Happy Sunday, Tools. Oh, that is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. What a nice comment. Wow. I'm currently... Uh, hold on. Nono says, I'm currently single and looking for a partner. It's really tough out there in the dating scene, I must say. Yeah. Um, and also, like, how do you go about this? It's, it's like, it's, I think it is very challenging for anybody, you know, in, I, especially in the day and age that we live in with social media and options. And, like, I don't find, you know, any social events where uh, singles can get together and meet each other. Like, do you meet people? Um, uh, yeah, so this, it's I'm I'm very intrigued by this because I I don't know how single people are meeting each other. Um, is there is it needed? Is so socials you know needed? I mean, I would love to host like a drinks get together where there's no pressure, where it's girls and guys, and they the prerequisite is that they need to be single. So. And you can also bring a friend because I think in situations like that, you always need like a single friend that is is with you to give you courage and sort of a thing. But also when you say it's like singles night at XY bar and then everybody that's there that's coming to this event should have should a know that they're there for the opportunity of meeting people and going on dates, you know, and they're all looking for relationships. I mean, would you like do something like that? Would you attend something like that? If, you know, if it was hosted, I, I yeah. So maybe what I'm trying to say is that is, is there spaces where people can meet each other and, flirt date you know uh because i don't feel like there's much of a dating culture in this country gay and straight but yeah which is very very interesting okay let me see your um instagram um comments we think tools we think we have options <laughs> that is we think we have options whether we have options is another is another question uh, that's hilarious. Um, that is funny. Musa says, definitely no dating culture here for sure. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, yeah, Musa, there's no dating. I, I, from what I've experienced, I don't think there's a dating culture. Oh, baby, I'm single by choice. It's so difficult in Gayville. The standard... Uh, uh, it's so difficult in Gayville. The standard's way too high for... For my mental, I choose not to partake. That sucks, you know? <laughs> Babes. Yeah. yeah, I know. And, you know, and, and it's... I know a lot of you guys on this live right now, you're saying that you're single by choice. Um, I wish I could do a poll right now. I need to learn how to do that. Um, single by choice. But I'd love to know, like, if you had the opportunity... To be in a relationship, would you be in one? You know, um, that is that is a question I am posing to you guys. So, if you were in, had the opportunity, if you're single by choice and you had the opportunity to be in a relationship, would you take that opportunity? So, the, this is for the single by choice people. That question um, is for the single by choice people let's talk red flags versus green flags okay i love this thank you naledi um i think green flags for me is how a man communicates um how you know there's one way there's one thing to hear me but then there's another instance of listening to me like there's a difference between hearing and listening and comprehending because yeah i can speak and and say this is what makes me happy and this is what doesn't make me happy but if you're not comprehending it properly then we are not on the same page um so 
communication for me is paramount and a green flag if they're able to communicate. Also, I don't always want to be the one initiating conversation or initiating things to do. Um, unless, you know, I saw a very interesting TikTok the other day. Someone said that they're in their relationship. He is the king of the the rental and the landlord space. Because if she speaks to the landlord, she doesn't know. It's not a strength that she has. And he is the king of organizing rent and the landlord. She is the king of finances. So whatever he says to her about finances, her decision is final. And I thought that was very interesting. And I, and I like that because now it divides certain situations f- with certain people so that, you know, whatever saying, what whatever they're saying is goes, if it's, and whoever's the king of the certain topic, then that's, that's it, which I love. I think, uh, what do you guys think about that? Red flags. Oh my God. I think. I did go on a date like a couple of months ago and I called him Mr. Red Flags. Um, And some of the red flags was just like, we went for dinner and he was like beyond pretentious. Uh, And it was like pretentious over nothing, Uh, which was just bizarre to me. And I was like, really? Like, so it was our first and last dinner. Sorry, I thought it was a knock at the door. Um, it was our first and last dinner that we went to. Um, what are your red flags? What are your green flags? I would love to know. I'll bring them up onto screen. Yeah, but that is very, very interesting. Let's see what is being said on the Instagram. I'd love to be in a, a loving long-term relationship. I just don't want to be anyone's wife. Okay. So you want to be... A girlfriend. Um, okay. Okay. I get you. I hear you. Communication is everything for me. Uh, yeah. Agreed. 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 Uh, I'm currently seeing someone I met overseas on holiday whom I'm, uh, who I met through a girlfriend of mine. Isn't that just the best to communicate, like uh, to meet someone in that sort of way, in an organic way? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, good luck. All the best for you, Musa. I hope it goes well. Um, Musa says, I find that I meet people through my network. Yeah, I think that's that's a great, great way. I mean, you know, and I think there should be more spaces of our friends, you know, that we are able to meet single, other single people. So, um, yeah, I think there should be more more spaces, spaces like that. Definitely no dating culture here for sure. Okay, yeah, um, Musa did say that. Uh, and let's see what other um, comments are coming here. And Dumi, thank you so much for tuning in. Honestly, I think Joburg is sometimes exhausting. People get over the talking and going on dates phase too quickly because of the effort and work required. Spoiler, it doesn't require effort. You've said... A mouthful. I I completely agree with you here. Um, I just also think that people are just like children when it comes to dating. Like I just like get into it. Like come on, like grow up. Um, and also, I think a lot of people don't. <laughs> the ghosting is because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings because. It's not nice to say someone like, I'm just not that into you. I mean, to say that to someone is not a nice thing, but I would prefer that someone says, I'm just not that into you rather than ghosting me. Because now you're ghosting because you're a coward. You know what I mean? So, and I think there's a lot of that that happens um, in the dating sphere. I mean, I can't believe that this hour is almost up. Okay, anyways. Um... Yeah, thank you for that comment, Ndumi. 
Listening versus hearing versus comprehending. Woo! That's a good one and true. Thank you, Naledi. Yes. Um, yes, let's be proactive. I completely agree with you. Uh, working on each other's strengths. Yes, absolutely. I th- definitely, when, you know, it's never 50-50 in a relationship. There's sometimes that someone will be 80 and another time where someone will be 20 and vice versa. And in a relationship, it's about... When someone is at a 20, you need to come in and step up to be that 80. Um, because at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, you're a team. And I think that's what it's about, you know? Um, I like that. Thank you. Um, Eloise, guys, relationships are hard. I've been with my man for 27 years. Congratulations. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Married for 21. This game is not for sissies. Oh, congratulations. That, I mean, this, but we want to hear stories like this. Like, what, how do you do it? Like, you know, I know that you're saying it's, it's, an, it's a challenge, but I mean, you know, to say that you're uh, 21 years married and you've been together for 27, that's amazing. So congratulations. I mean, that's a great feat in itself, you know? Um, yeah, no, no, tools. Yes, I'm open to doing that date night event and do me. People just want quick fix. Hey, they, they don't want to build. Exactly. I, I agree with you here. Uh, no, no, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Um, yeah, maybe I would do that at date night event. Let's see, you know, um, yeah, tomato, 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 exactly. The lady, that's what I felt like on that date. It was red flags, but the red flags were tomatoes. Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. The worst. Uh, um, wouldn't be in a relationship right now, to be honest. Okay, that's cool. Um, and you're single by choice. So um, as long as you're happy, you know, uh, people are lazy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly i can't i could i wholeheartedly agree with you i yeah yeah um it's about partnerships oh absolutely yeah agreed with you 27 years baby i love that yeah we do love that for you thank you eloise yeah um all right hi pearl to see nights make us look old i've taken a break and love my mental health night um yeah, I, I, our mental health comes first, baby. Absolutely, absolutely. Gaslighting, jealousy, all his exes are crazy. Double standards. Oh, those are a lot of red flags. Those. I'm a tourist, so I tend to run towards the red flags. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is funny. Oh my god. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think it is very, very interesting. I think um, I, I'm, I'm happy to hear that like we're all in the same boat together. Like, kuning out there, it's a lot. And um, relationships are not, even if you've been in a 27 year old, 27 year relationship, as um, Eloise was saying. Um, it's still a lot of work, you know? So, yeah. And some of the people yeah, 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 that I know, uh, <sighs> relationships are a lot of work. And I, and I can believe that, you know? Uh, not running towards red flags. <laughs> That's Pearl to see for you. I love that. I love that. Yeah. It's a Taurus and her. Um, Mode Explorer. We are all in Noah's Rocky Art. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, guys, maybe I will do that singles mixes for the girls um, and the boys, you know, just I do feel like there needs to be a, a, a different mindset change and and see, you know, because it's easy to get a quick fix and g- get your – you know, for anybody, gays and straights. But I think there are some people that do want it. And there are a lot of people that are single by choice and are happy as being single by choice. Um, if we're all in the boat, are we the problem? Are we the drama? Am I the drama? 
<laughs> the lady, you are my people. I was also thinking this. I also actually thought this is that maybe the you know it, it, who's a common thread in this problem. Um, so yeah, I guess. But there are people that are in long-standing, excuse me, relationships. Yeah, but um, anyway, so I have my vlog coming out at 5 p.m. and I hope you guys are going to be watching it. Um, yeah, I, you know, and why I came up with this topic for today was because I was in, like, because I, I deleted all the apps. I was like, when I thought about it, I was like, Oh, wait, so, wait, how am I meant to meet someone now? <laughs> how am I meant to meet someone now? Now that I've deleted all the apps and it deleted my profiles on all the apps. Like, so how do I expect it to, you know? So, um, and my the previous boyfriends that I've had have all been, the way I've met them have been in very interesting ways. And those kind of situations are very far and few between so which is uh, is an anomaly so listen and you know how people say that uh it will happen when you least expect it blah 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 sure okay i've been least expecting it for a long time do i want a relationship <sighs> after everybody has been talking about their relationships and how what how many problems that they have in their relationships and how much hard work it is like then i'm thinking like ah, do i actually really want it you know um yeah uh Tendeke is saying recently went on a date i had so many questions to ask him and before i could ask anything he had already answered every single one of them whether i liked the answers or not that was still a green flag interesting interesting uh it's a lot of work Dwayne says <laughs> uh yeah i mean also for you my friend it's not just one piece of work yeah all moral lows ricky thank you so much for tuning in to the live uh yeah uh it's it's a lot guys yo 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 yeah i mean that your relationship guys <laughs> ricky we'll get into that on another episode but um thank you so much for tuning into this live i appreciate you and thank you so much everybody for being here you guys are amazing uh, make sure you tune in to my vlog, which is coming up next. And I will see you in the next live. Let's do this again next week. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And I love you so much. Until then, good night. God bless. Good